Hi beloved, Gift of Adi Love here with today's message from Matthew chapter 8 with the context of the centurion servant needing healing. The centurion came to Jesus and he said, Jesus, my servant is very ill. He's on his deathbed. I need you to heal him. And Jesus says, okay, I will come and heal him. And the centurion said, no, I do not need your presence. Your presence is here. It, it, it comes to honor me and I'm not worthy of your honor. I just need your word. Your word is the healing power. Your word is what actually heals my servant, not your presence. So how do I know this? Because I am a man in authority and I understand that the word of a man in authority is what changes things. The word is what changes things, not the presence. I can be there, but the people will not do what they, they're supposed to do. Just like Jesus, when he would come up on a man who was demon possessed and the demons started talking, they didn't start living. They started talking. They started getting afraid. They started fearing and talking to Jesus. And what did they, made the demons get out of the man? The word that Jesus spoke to them he told them get out it is not the presence of God that you need in your situation you can have the presence of God and be the, in the presence of God but remain in the same situation why because you did not believe in the word because you do not take the word you can be preached to all your life you can be in church but that doesn't make you a Christian just like being in the garage doesn't make you a car but taking the word of God, the Bible says not just hearing, but doing the word of God. Put the word of God into practice. Your life will be changed by the word of God. Your life is never changed by the presence of God, but by the word of God and by obedience to the word of God, by believing the word of God. Do you know the word of God over your situation? Do you know the word of God over your life? Do you know and do you believe the word of God? Because at the end of the day, it is the word of God. The Bible says that they defeated him by the word of the Lamb the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony what does the word of god say when i go to prayer i pray and i seek what is god's word over this situation the minute you understand god's word over your situation that is the minute you get breakthrough Never leave a prayer session without what God's word over your situation. Because if you leave a prayer session without knowing what God has said over that situation, then you're walking around not in a victorious way. You can be in the presence of God all you want. But if you do not have the word of God, there is nothing, no changes. Nothing is going to happen. And that is why a lot of Christians, we pray, but we don't wait for the word of God. Sit there and tarry and wait. Let God speak. Then you go. Habakkuk said that he, he, he'll stand as a watchman and you will hear what the word of God says. I will hear, I, will, I have already told, talked to God and I will stand here and hear what he tells me. The minute you hear, then you take that word and put it into action because his word never returns unto him void. It accomplishes what it was sent to do. The word of God is power. He honors his word over his name. One day I was praying and I was praying about a situation that I already knew the word of God over this situation. But God told me, wait, what are you doing? Stop praying. What did I say about that situation? And I repeated it to him. He said, then what are you praying? Pray, when you come to me, you're coming to find out what I'm saying about the situation, right? So all you have to do is speak the word that I gave you over that situation. And that is exactly what I did. When I spoke that word over that situation, oh, things changed. It was not his presence. I was in his presence. I was in prayer. I was there. It's not his presence that changed the situation. It is his word that he spoke that changed the situation. So understand one thing. The word of God will change your situation. The word of God will change your situation. The word of God is what changes your situation. Don't stay in the presence of God without getting the word of God. You can be in his presence, but without the word, your situation will remain the same. Remain the same. God bless you and bless his word today. In Jesus' name. I love you. Take care. We'll see you again.